Hello everyone, it's me the Chucks Matters being a year of a Chuck Simulator commentary. Um, I am doing one of my personal save videos and this is not a bonus episode, this is just because I feel like treating you guys. What of it being so close to Christmas now, just a few days, and I don't know why my frame rate just went really incredibly low then, but it's back to normal now, which is very good. Now, um, a few of you, I say a few, quite a lot of you have uh, mentioned since my last video, which was a few days ago now, um, that you would like to sort of see the personal save um, on the run up till Christmas, which I'm happy with because I really like this save. Um, now to begin with, whilst it's happening there, um, in that Root Advisor there, I mentioned it in a video previously and I couldn't show it because of other stuff. Now before, um, there was th before the update, there was an update and before the update, which I mentioned, like I said, I mentioned this in a previous video, but when it came to the scrolling of, I mean, that's convenient, of the drivers delivering loads and having to turn around and stuff, it would only appear when you have the big root advisor up, not the little one. The little one being this one. But now, as you saw, it does also do it on the little one, which is cool, because I prefer the little one. Because it's just easier to view my sat nav that way, and it's just so much better than having that giant thing. It's just massive edges and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, it looks tidy like that, but like that is just like but better, it's more convenient, rather than having that giant massive thing with huge borders and giant writing and stuff. But um, yeah, so that's that sort of thing done. Now, um, you may notice in the AI that I am seeing a lot of different trailers, flatbeds mainly. Um, now this is down to a mod which I've installed, it's called Daniel's AI mod or something. Um, this is another one created by um, Daniel's ETS2 mods, his Facebook page. Um, and you guys can find the download link to that on his Facebook page. Facebook page is linked in the description of the video. Um, where you can also download his company mod. The company mod is the one which I'm using now. Now just to get you guys up to date on where I am on the save, um, we are going from Paris to Rostock. Um, we've got ETA 5 hours left on the journey and I've got seven hours time remaining so that sort of gives you a, pers a perspective of what it is. Now this is an urgent delivery, I'm not usually running this close to schedule but this is the fact that this is an urgent delivery means that I've got to really focus and it doesn't give me much time. I get, should be there within a couple of hours though, a couple of hours to spare. Um, I'm hopefully having an hour and a half to spare. Now we actually have some news from SES software for once. Now it's not major news, um, not to do with a giant patch which they're going to release next week or anything like that. Um, but it is pretty cool because they have another video. Um, it is not of ETS2, um, but it is to do with um, the. They, they've posted a few videos in the past of them collecting the real truck sounds, well, truck sounds from real trucks um, like Scania and MAM. Now this one is a Volvo. I'm not. I think they've done a Volvo before. I don't know what. Didn't I didn't watch the video because I, I don't particularly find those videos that fascinating. But I did see. Uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, it. it, it, it you could tell that it was just one of those where they were gathering the sounds again. Um, it was in the snow as well, from the post it said, oh uh, yeah, they chose a windy day and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't need to watch the video at some point, I probably should have done before doing this video, but I thought, you know, I, I wasn't really planning to talk into much detail about the video, because the video isn't what was important about the blog update. What's more important is SES have finally released their link to their form. They've talked about getting a form or something like that um, up, an official one from SES Software for quite a while now. Um, and we finally, they've finally done it. We, there's an official form with lots of users and stuff as you can imagine. And I have, I was like one of the first people and I just had to stick my, um, the link to my YouTube ETS2 Let's Play playlist so that um, if any of you that aren't aware if you've missed any episodes of the Let's Play or you just want to take a look at all of them um, there is a playlist which I've put them all in to make it easy to find specific ones instead of going through all of my all of my all of my videos um, that can be found on my channel um, but I posted a link to that in on their forum and I do really hope that I get a good response from SES and just the general people, all the fans and stuff, because you guys, all of my sort of regular fans, have been really, really cool with your comments and things. 
Um, but I'd love to try and widen, broaden my audience, widen out a bit, and I think that forum is a brilliant way to do so. It's very, for the fact that it's post shared on their blog as a blog post and things like that, I think it's just incredible. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be good to see that. Hopefully, that gets a lot of use and really does boost my thingy. But it's also great for that for other people because obviously they post their mods there and we get to look at other people's ideas. The forum is actually just a, a brilliant, a brilliant thing, their official forum, because they've made it so neat and tidy, they've allowed you to put, like, what you wi what your wishes are for ETS2 and things like that, and, and, and as well as your mods and screenshots and videos and stuff. So basically, it's just, it's a complete, it's just a complete thing, and it's brilliant, it's brilliant that SES have gone ahead and done that because it obviously allows for us to get more in touch with SES software instead of having to email then it'll be like, oh, the email's never going to get seen whereas with a public forum, everyone can see your post and people can comment if they like or dislike it that way it gives SES a better idea of what's going on um, but yeah, so I will post a link to their forum, I think in the, in the, the description of the video as well now there's a lot of uh, stuff in that little box down there a lot of links, but you know me, I like to I like to make sure that you guys have plenty to click on. Um, there is, I always post links. If I just go through what links are down there, I think I know what links are down there. There's the um, there's just links to the mods which I use, and then there's links to everything else. Now, what I'm going to talk about next, and this is kind of cool because it's like I'm going for a subject, a list, but I don't have a list. This is just all coming off the top of my head, sort of like normal, but it just feels listed because for some reason it is in my head even though I didn't list it but yeah how dare you cut me up like that but um, you will see on my truck um, if you've been watching my mirrors much that um, I have a new truck skin on now this truck skin is created by and I have completely forgotten his name I will post the credits in the description of the video as well as the download link because um, this is a public a public uh, mod if any of you guys know any MAN skins or just brilliant websites to get your truck skins then pre please let me know I can't use truck 724 though for uh, reasons which I shall not share but um, yeah any other forums any other websites where or if you've made one yourself and you want to make it public and you just want to get out there, you think it's good, I'll take a look at it and then if I like it then I will post a do a video with um, the skin like I'm doing here. Now this skin I will take a better look at outside is okay outside wasn't such a great idea unless I can do that no that's not really great I didn't really look at my thingy to take a look at that but as you can see here it's uh, just a really I think it's called like um, a fantasy skin or something I don't know I don't quite know whether it's a film or something. It looks like it could be a film, but I'm not too sh too sure on that one. But it, it is a really, a really tidy skin. Um, I really, I really quite like it. So I hope that you guys like it as well. And as I said, the download link's in the download link is in the description of the video if you guys want it. The same as download links to any of the uh, other mods that I use. So this is uh, just the just, just talk about the journey now. Really, it's going kind of well. I think I've got one, no, oh crikey, 2% damage on my trailer, I don't know why I had 2%, Oops. don't know where I damaged this the second time, but okay, um, I've still got plenty of time left, 3 hours ETA, so that's awesome, and then just other stuff like that, nothing really important, um, I'm going to have a look actually again a sec, at progress history, let's see where I'm at, so I'm almost, I may, no I won't get 2000 points, for this delivery I don't think but then I'll be legend how yeah so I've already passed like Lee and instruct I've gone through all of those and I'm almost a legend it's kind of what I think I'm, I'm really wanting to know what there's different what's the highest level that you can be and what that rank is called like instructor or legend or whatever I got to change lanes and I know that there's a car next to me but I just really had to change lanes so um, I just cut somebody up but I'm sure he doesn't mind. I'm really, really sure he doesn't mind. And if he does, then it's kind of just like his fault, really. I mean, he didn't move his horn, so I'm sure he didn't mind. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much just a, a round up of my video and the, just the general stuff today. Um, the rev there is there is something else which I could mention. Um, I mentioned in a previous video. I gave out a shout out to a website um, and a Facebook group called um, 
ETS2 trucks in trucks and mods in partnership with me. Um, that website now has a page called Gaming News, which I keep up to date with um, gaming news and just general tech update stuff like comic going bust and things like that. Um, so if you guys want to check out that website again, it's linked in the description of the video, like everything else. <laughs> um, but honestly, links in the description of the video are the important ones. I don't fill it up with junk. I try not to fill it up with a lot of websites. If I am highly involved in the website, or if I'm using the mod, and it's a link for a mod, then I will use that. I will post the link, but obviously if it's just a random little form or website where it's like not that great, then you don't worry, there aren't any links to places like that. Not, of course, unless it's a little rubbish little form with the download link to a mod which I use in a video, but at the moment that's not the case. Um, but yeah, so the links are all in the description, but that is one um, if you guys want to be kept up to date with that, I mean that is basically like, it's sort of like a little blog thingy I guess that I can just, like a news sort of thingy which I quite like. Um, so if you guys want to be kept up to date with that stuff, then go check out that website. That is also just a cool website for finding mods. Um, I mean it's actually getting quite a few, if considering it's rather new, it's got quite a few members. It's got 99 members I think it is when I last saw it. Um, so close to 100. Um, and it's only been up for a couple of weeks now. Which I think is rather impressive to be honest. It would be nice to see it really go far. The uh, admins of the page, of the group and of the website um, are, oh, uh, DSV Curtains either, are just brilliant. They're make, really making it worth, worth, I don't know. Um, I was going to say something but now I've forgotten. They're just, making it, they're just making it worth joining really. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, the group is brilliant. Um, there is a Facebook group. Um, I don't know if I've posted a link in the description of the video. But there is a link I think on the website. So you can go onto the website and then go onto the group. Um, the group is pretty much... I love... I don't know what it is about Facebook groups. But I prefer those to pages. They just feel so much more casual and relaxed. Like the admins on pages are just sort of like... Um, hidden in a way, they're sort of, you can't see their name, although there's some, most of the time they put their name, it's just not that great, it's not so obvious, but it's not, I don't know, I just think it's just so much more casual, really, um, but yeah, so that's sort of, I think I might end the video here, um, I hope to be doing more videos, um, I, one thing I haven't mentioned actually in this video, is the bonus episode, which will be up tomorrow night if this video reaches 35 likes, we didn't get it last week and I'm really disappointed, but I really think that we can do it this week, um, so the for those of you that don't know what the bonus episode is, it's basically, if this, vid if this video gets 35 likes on the actual video, on YouTube, not on my Facebook page, or anywhere else, um, then you will get a bonus episode tomorrow night. If not, then it's a video uploaded the night after. Um, so that would be Monday. And then, uh, yeah. Now, if you do get a bonus episode tomorrow night, then you will get a video for every day for four days, because we're going to have tomorrow. No, it'll be tonight's this video, then tomorrow night's video, then the other night's video, which will be pretty much the, the proper scheduled one. And then that'll be Boxing Day. No, Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day, I might do a uh, video. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of. I'm, I'm thinking of doing a special one for Christmas Day, um, to make it all worth you guys sit, settling down and taking a f taking 15 minutes away from your from your family, I guess, to uh, um, to watch my video. Um, so that's going to be a special one, I think. Um, I've got to try and get a few things sorted for that one, but that one's going to be cool. Um, and then Boxing Day, which is going to be the scheduled one, and then it'll be back to normal after that, so they're scheduled then every two days. Um, and then it'll be the new year, so then we'll be in 2013, and it's going to be awesome. Um, 2013 will just be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, so I would like to... In fact, should I just continue the video until I finish the delivery? I think I can. I'm going to treat you guys, and I'm going to last make the video last until... I have finished the delivery. Now ETA is only uh, 35 minutes, so it shouldn't take me too long to do it shouldn't take me too long to finish the delivery. And then I think I'm just gonna have a relax because it's Saturday and it's I've got five days off work. Oh I know five days from yesterday. So it's like I don't know, five days today. So four days left of off work, which is awesome. 
which is another reason why I can do videos every single day for the next like five days until Boxing Day because I have no work so I can just continuously do them and hopefully I can manage to roll out that many videos. I have explained in the past why I don't do a video every single day um, in previous videos but I think I can manage a few. Obviously it's not going to be after the new year and after Christmas it's not going to be every single day it's just because this is the festive season and last year I had a few different series is going on on uh, UKTS as a Let's Play and the DFK map mod and then the ICRF map mod and in those videos I had special truck and trailer in these this year I don't because like all the modders are busy doing other stuff catching up with ETS2 and things um, but hence why I'm going to be doing a special um, a special video mm, for Christmas Day um, it's going to be a, a really Christmassy one um, it, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go any further than that um, because obviously I don't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, but it is going to be really cool from what I'm. I'm thinking of doing, um, and I don't really plan ahead when it comes to these videos. But I, you know, you know, this 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 really is quite exceptional, and I absolutely love it. So I'm sure that you guys will too. There are a few um, errors with what I'm planning to do, um, and for those of you that have already downloaded what I'm thinking. Um, then obviously you guys will be able to uh, know what I was talking about. Know what I'm talking about when I said about the errors, because I may not have mentioned much about the errors, but you know, when a mod has errors, everybody knows about it. Um, but yeah, so we are basically finishing the delivery now. Think where are we de we're we delivering this to use and logistics. Cool. What have we actually got again? And this is a quality time to check out my truck. Um, okay, so what does that say? Um, my other fantasy. My other fantasy. I am take it that's a film. I really should have looked that up but you know I thought it's a nice looking skin. I'm sure it doesn't really it's not going to be that that massive and stuff but it is. It's uh, really it is a really nice looking skin so obviously if you guys want to go and download that check it out then feel free to. Um, so we're just entering here and I don't know if I've mentioned, I, don't, I know that I haven't mentioned the snow mod in my game uh, just quickly to pass a bit of time I think but no 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 I don't need to mention it in every video in case there's new people seeing the mod and they're like ah oh, I must I must I wonder what that is um, this is the winter mod created by Stefag40 and 116808APD I've said that so many times now I actually know it off by heart it's kind of funny but um yeah this is the mod created by... Why haven't I got my beacons on? I turned them on at the last minute, don't I? I didn't even realise it got dark though, to be honest. It just sort of... It was really foggy, and then it all stopped, and then it was just dark. And it's like, ooh, okay. Good work, yay, we didn't level up. Damn, we got... Um, a thousand XP, so I need another thousand. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a rating. Um, and I shall be speaking to you again in the next couple of days or tomorrow. So thanks for watching and goodbye.